Hello everyone. For the past couple of weeks, I have been doing somewhat random videos exploring different types of physics inside of Blender. That all changes today. Welcome to the rigid body world. So let's get started with me telling you what this is about. I am making a tutorial series going in depth with rigid body physics. The reasoning behind this is that I want to actually explain things about how these physics work, rather than just creating little animations every week that don't really teach anything. My goal with this is to provide anyone who watches the channel with the experience needed to create their own rigid body simulations from scratch. These are going to be more educational and explanatory, and maybe a little boring at some point, but learning anything does require a bit of technical work. I will be conducting this tutorial series with Blender 2.81. The principles here should hold up for Blender 2.8 and probably 2.7 as well, but I would recommend using the most up-to-date, stable version of the software. So what is a rigid body simulation? It is essentially simulating physics on a solid, or rigid, object, like when you drop a pencil or a bunch of Legos. Cars running into each other, rocks falling, collisions, debris, things like that can all be done with rigid body physics. And those that you just saw are just the demonstrations I could find conducted inside of Blender. If we look more into the professional visual effects side of things, we can see some even crazier demonstrations of this. That is possible with rigid body physics. These sort of things require a lot of work, decent software, and some good fracturing as well, but rigid bodies make it all come together. So how can we get started? How can we start making physics simulations inside of Blender? Let's open it up and find out. When you select an object inside of Blender, a number of tabs are available on the right side of the screen, right here, known as the context menu. One of these tabs is for physics, indicated by this swirly object. Now you can see that we have nine different types of physics indicated here, with two of them being related to rigid bodies. We are just going to focus on the main rigid body type for now, and we will get back to rigid body constraints later. So to give an object rigid body physics, just click this button. As you can see, this dropdown appears, and it will fall when we play our animation. Over the next couple videos, we are going to run through what each of these settings does and how we can use them. For now, let's just start with the most important one, Height. This setting will dictate how your rigid body object will function on a fundamental level. Is it a moving object, or is it an obstacle? When a rigid body object is set to active, then it can be acted upon by forces like gravity or wind. It is essentially set as a rigid body object that can move based on the engine. A passive rigid body object cannot be moved by the rigid body physics, but it can collide with or affect active objects. For example, suppose I wanted to drop something onto a table. The thing I'm dropping would be an active object, while the table would be a passive object. Let's set up a quick scene here to illustrate this. We can take our cube and make it a rigid body object with a type of active. Like we saw before, this will simply fall. But since the beauty of rigid bodies is their collision dynamics, let's add in something for it to run into. I've added in a plane to act as something like a table or a floor. We can click the button to make it a rigid body object, and since I don't want this to move, we will set the type to passive. If we play back our animation, you can see the cube, the active object, hit the plane, the passive object. It bounces a little bit, and it stops. So that is, at its very basics, the rigid body section of Blender. In the next video in the series, we will look more into collision settings, before starting to mess around with things like forces and constraints. All of the Blender files for this tutorial series will be available for free and linked in the description of these videos. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.